everyone and welcome to our latest soldering tutorial and thanks for tuning in yeah as you can see we're going to sort of cover trace damage on in this video i've got two different thicknesses of traces i've got sort of two sort of slightly thicker traces up here and two very sort of skinny traces sort of curled up in the air up the top of the top of your screen i use two different wires for the thicknesses so for the thicker ones i use sort of kynar wire which is a 30 gauge sleeve single core wire it's a great pcb sort of modification and repair wire very common and uh yeah up here i'm going to use sort of a very fine copper wire that's enamel coated and uh, that's to do these two thinner traces up the top end so when i do my what sort of trace repairs i always try and match the width for the trace with the wire that i'm fitting just so your signal sort of run down it properly and i'll always again i'll always start with the cleanup operation on sort of when i'm doing something like this just to get rid of all the loose bits then you can see where you got to go so I, like i say i'll sort of show you how to glue them all down at the end i've got a good method for the gluing and the end results i think you'll be pleasantly surprised of how something like this can turn into something yeah quite pretty so what we do we move on to the cleanup and uh, yeah i'll show you how to do that right so after assessing the damage i'm just going to start removing these loose bits uh, the flapping in the air so basically what i can do with this first part just basically pull the tracks off that you can see sort of curled up in the air let's just start with that one that should just peel off be careful just grab it with your tweezy just peel that along and that bit should peel off let's take a little couple of goes so that's just pulled that bit off you can just basically what i do then with the second part of that just get to a bit of solid ground all you need to do is put a little score get to solid ground just a little score. Don't go too deep, about halfway through the trace. Now I can peel that bit back and it should break at the truck at the uh sort of cut I've just given it. So what I can do now, just grab that bit, just wiggle it and it should break at that little sort of cut I've just done. Just give it a little wiggle. Just lift that bit up there just to get that last little bit off. Give me a scalpel blade under it. It's always good to get to solid ground with this, so when you fit the new wire, you've got no danger of it going beyond that. So just get a nice bit of solid ground. So I'm going to leave that there now. That's you've got solid sort of trace going down there, so that's sort of a uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. And what I can do now is move on to the next part that's similar. Again, just do a nice little sort of little score across the trace. And this this means when you sort of peel it up or break it back at that point, it won't go beyond it and take the rest of the trace with it. So you don't want to go right through. If you can, if you do go right through, it's not a problem. Again, just peel it up and hopefully I can get it. Yep, there you go. That's done that one really nice. So I've got a nice solid point of trace there and there. That bit's okay, that's still flat, so I'm just going to leave that. I'll sort of scrape that back sort of soon, and uh, that's where we join the new wire. So I'm going to go to the next one, so just turn the board round. I'm going to do this sort of, do the thinner trace just above that now. Just centralise it in your, in your screen. So again, get to a solid piece of ground, or solid piece of trace just there. So again, you don't want to go too deep in case you've got layers below. Be careful not to go, you know, not too much pressure. Otherwise, you could go straight through and hit the hit the lower layers. Again, just ca carefully pull that up, and that's broken that right at that point where I've sort of scored it. So that's that one sorted. So again, I'm going to go to the one at the top and get that one done. Just turn it around a piece a bit more. Just get it back in focus. So again go just beyond where it started to curl up slight score through so this means when you pull it up you'll never go beyond that point and that's what you're looking for let's just pull that one up it should break at that point there you go that's got that one so you've got a nice solid piece of trace there as you can see they're also already starting to to look a lot more respectable when you've got sort of uh, some solid points to solder to 
when we put the wires on. So I'm just going to do this last piece up the end here. That's this one up here. Just going to clean this, this part up. What we do now, let's get that back in focus for you. Hopefully I can just try and get this just tidied up. It's slightly difficult for me to do this because of the, uh, the angles I'm trying to work at sort of to get the video right. So don't worry, if you've got a little piece there, that's not a problem. That's still solid. This bit's solid. And that's just tidied up that M4 for, for a nice, uh, yeah, nice new wire. So as you can see, I've got some nice solid points now. I'll just get it back in focus. That's it. Sorry about that. Yeah, clean this last part up here. Just get it, take a little piece off there. Just lift that slight loose bit up there. So I'm happy with all that. You've got some nice solid copper there. So that's basically the tidying up the, the loose ends that were floating around at the start. So as you can see, it's already sort of, you can see where you're going now. And that's, uh, that's the aim of this part, just to clean up all the loose bits. You've got some solid sort of traces to work on. And uh, yeah, that's what you're looking for for this stage. What I do now, we, we move on now. We basically, I sort of scrape back the traces to give some sort of soldering points. And uh, yeah, I'll move on to that part now. Right, so after the stage where we removed all the loose pieces of trace, we're just going to come back now. And we're just going to start scraping away some of the trace at each end just to give it a soldering point well, I'll scrape them back about a millimetre or two just gently don't go through the obviously don't go too deep just get the resist off and you can just basically tin these afterwards and you get a good point to sort of fix the uh, the wire to when you come to do that so I'll do these two first just try and keep a nice uniform line and then you get a nice joint afterwards. So I'll do these two. So what I do, I just quickly clean the sort of dust off of them too. All the sort of excess resist that's just come off. And basically all you need then is a bit, little bit of flux. And I'll get these tinned up. So let's put a little bit of flux on them too. And we'll get them tinned up. And then this gives you a good soldering point when you come to attach your wires. So you get a bit on there, a little bit on there. And so when we come to attach the wires, you've got a nice, uh, yeah, nice sort of solder, solder point to go to. Just go get them a little bit sort of lower. You can always, if you get too much on this at this stage, you can always wick that off. A little bit of flux should, that's it. Right, so I've got them nice, nice and low now. So let's clean that off, just with a bit, little bit of ultra sole cleaning fluid that I use. But you, there's lots of cleaning fluids on the market, so I'll show you what these two look like. So they're now cleaned up, sort of scraped back and tinned. So you've got a nice reference point when you come to put your wires on. Just going to blow the sort of focus, uh, sort of vision up slightly. So you can see I've got a nice point on there to solder to. So that's what uh, that's what you're looking for. So what I'm going to do, I'll just do one of the small traces just to sort of show the point again. Just do the one above it. I'll just sort of put the focus up a little bit. Or the image up. Just do the one slightly above that. So, yes, yeah, basically any thickness of trace, always do it the same way. Just scrape back. Once you've got solid traces to, to go to, just scrape back about a millimetre or two. Tin them up, sort of clean it up, and then you're, uh, you know, you're, you're at a really good stage to sort of reattach your new wires. So, again, just put a little bit of flux on that one. Let me just get that one tinned up. What I do after this one, I'll sort of do, sort of move on to the next stage. I'll get all them up to that same point, and uh, yeah, and then we move on to the next stage. Just a little bit on there. That's it. I'll just clean that one up. Like I say, I'll get them all to this stage, and then we move on to the point where we're going to put the wires on. So as you can see, I've got three nice joints, all of them. 
so that's what you're looking for so yeah just basically look for that sort of one or two millimeters back on all these three and try and aim for that on all of them and yeah and you'll have some good points to to get your wires attached to so what i do i'll get them all up to that stage then we move on to the sort of fitting of them just quickly before we go sort of come to fitting the wires i just want to show you where we're quickly at so i've carried on sort of scraping the traces back in eight positions i've tinned them all up so they're ready for sort of for the new wires so as you can see that's the point you want to get to at this stage so yeah basically i'm going to start with the two thinner traces up the top I'm going to do these with a sort of enamel coated copper wire, quite a thin one. And then, uh, yeah, I'll move on to these two down the bottom. I'm going to do with Kynar. So, yeah, it's, like I said sort of earlier in the video, it's quite important that you sort of match the thickness of the trace with a new wire. So, what I'll do, I'll start with the two sort of narrow ones up the top and, uh, yeah, show you how I fit with them. And then afterward, sort of fitting them all, I'll sort of show you how I bond them down. So, yeah, we we'll move into that stage. Right, so coming to fitting the first two traces, these are the two narrower ones I'm going to do up the top. I'm actually using a, point, a 0 0.2 millimeter copper sort of wire that's enamel coated, and there's two ways you can get the sort of enamel off these. You can either burn the enamel off, which is what most people would do, and be honest, that's probably what I do quite a lot. But for this case, you can actually scalpel blade the coating off if you're really careful, just by twisting. The wire as you go just got to be really careful about the pressure so you don't sort of score the inner copper um so what I, what i do what i tend to do i've already prepared this wire that's going to go from that point to that point there and that's exactly the same width as the trace which again is quite important and what i've done here i've sort of prepared that end to suit that joint i've got a sort of flying lead coming out here that's way too long so i'm quickly going to bend that into shape you can actually sort of hold this if you're gentle with your tweezers without damaging the wire. So that's what I'll just quickly do. So I think it's important if you can follow the sort of indent of the board. So it's the ingrained sort of trace where it used to be. I'll just move that one out of the way. You can actually sort of get the perfect sort of shape to suit where it used to go. So that's what I like to do. Just go beyond there. I can just ease that back. I should get the same sort of shape as what used to be there. So that's what I've done there. So I've got the same shape as it used to be there. So I'm just going to turn that back round. Try and keep it into focus. So as you can see, I've got a nice bend, the sort of position where it used to go. And then what I can do now, with my scalpel blade, I gently just put it on the top allowing for the sort of millimetre you need to scrape back just hold it slightly up in the air it should be about there you can gently just wiggle this bit and that will give you the perfect sort of length for what you need just gently wiggle it and you go through it in the end and you've got a nice that's the desired wire length what you're looking for and that will suit what used to be there so you say on that end Job to keep this in the focus. I've actually tinned the first end properly, that one down there. So that's pre pre tinned. So that's going to suit that pad. And I've bent the wire into shape, and then we can get on with the soldering of it. So that's how I do my wires. So yeah, basically prepare the length, get them tinned if you need to, and uh, yeah, you should be good to go. So what we do now to get me soldering iron ready, I'll sort of show you how I sold. Right. So as you can see, I've basically sort of bent the, the wire in position. I'm holding it down with Captain Tape. That's a tape that's widely available from RS Components, Farnell, or in America, so you mouse your mouse or digi key. So yeah, it's a good tape. It's proper PCB tape, so it's good for sort of holding wires down if you need to. So yeah, I've actually sort of pre-tinned this end, the same as uh, that end up there. So basically the wire is perfectly in shape now, so you can get on with the, uh, with the soldering. Basically, I always like to add a little bit of flux to this. So yeah, just put a little bit over the joint. And uh, yeah, just basically uh, start soldering away. Just need a tiny bit on the end of your iron. Because I've already pre sort of tinned these, it should go really easy. Hopefully I'll keep it in focus. So there you go, I've got a nice joint round there. 
I'll show I'll blow these uh I'll blow the sort of joints up at the end, not literally, but um yeah, I'll get the uh the vision clearer and bigger so you can sort of see the joints nicely. So on this end I've literally done the same. I've got a loose end up here, as you can see. So I've basically pre-tin that exactly the same as the other end. And again I can just put a little bit of flux on. The flux is quite important because it obviously aids the, the soldering process. So yeah, just a little bit of flux on there. And then basically repeat the uh, repeat the process. Just get a little bit of flux over there. That's it, and all you need now is a sort of small amount of solder. And uh, yeah, do the second joint. Then we can get sort of tape removed and um, yeah, hopefully see what it looks like. So just add a little bit on there, just be quite quick. That's it. So I've got a nice little joint, it's rock solid now. Yeah, it's a rock solid joint, and that's what basically there's so there's two nice joints. Job to see it because this wire is literally point one or point two of a millimeter, so it's a job to sort of see the uh, the joints. I'll try and get the try and zoom in a bit if I can. Hopefully, it's pretty difficult to see this because yes, this wire is so small. But yeah, I've got a decent joint sort of up this end. So we're just going on to, to the wire. If you need to scrape the wire resist back, it's not a problem. As long as you don't, don't go down into the barrel. So yeah, that's uh, that's how I fit me wires. So what I'll do, I'll repeat the operation for the other one. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, then go on to the kind of wires to do the other two traces. So what I could do now is I'll gently peel the captain tape off, sort of clean the joints. And like I say, we move on to the other wire. And then I'll show you how to bond them all down. Moving on to the, uh, the wider two traces, I'm going to use a kind of wire for this. Basically, if I've got a short length, which one of these repairs is, I'd always prepare it again on the wire. And you can actually sort of get any length you want on this. So you can sort of strip that length. You do slightly longer or slightly longer. I'd do this sort of up to about an inch, this sort of, uh, this method. So yeah, if I've got a real long sort of uh, wire to repair, I'd sort of solder it to the board and then sort of go along and uh, yeah, when I get to the other end, holding my fingers, you'd be fine with that. But if you're doing a short length, Always sort of well. I never ever solder one end to the board and then sort of strip it while it's uh in the, you know floating in the air because basically you're in danger of pulling the pad off. So this is the best way. Prepare your wire, and uh, this is the way I'm going to do for the first sort of repair of these next two traces. I'll have the wire prepared, ready to solder on, and this is a method I would use. So we move on. Right. So coming to the first of the two trace repairs, you can see in the middle of your screen. These were the two wider sort of repairs I have to do. Yeah, so what I've done, I've prepared my wire, as in the previous little uh, little video. I've got the sort of short length that I require, so I just solder that in position. And basically what I do now, I'll try and turn this around slightly so you can hopefully get a better view. It's quite difficult to, uh, to keep this all in focus, so I'll just sort of zoom in slightly. So keep it there, you should get a good idea. Yeah, so what I'm doing now, I'm just scalpel blading the wire again really carefully as in sort of how I did the uh, the other two traces so just gently sort of push it on the top and sort of tweak the end eventually you'll break through without damaging sort of the wire underneath so be really gentle eventually you'll get through there so what I can do now I can just tweak that wire and I can solder that up just tweak it down slightly Right now I can solder that end up, just try and zoom in slightly, please bear with me, I'm just going to zoom in slightly, just turn it round, so hopefully you can get a sort of view of what's going on. So I'm going to add slight, sort of small amount of flux, don't want too much on here, so don't want it to run everywhere, but if it does, not a problem, I'll clean it all off after. So I've got a small amount of flux added on. I'll get the vision clearer. And basically, I can just solder that end up. Just got to be really quick on this end because it's quite a short wire. You don't want the sort of uh, the other end melting and the wire falling away. So just be really quick. And that's got that soldered up, as you can see. So yeah, I've got two nice joints. So I've got a nice sort of joint there. 
and going up to the other end I've got a nice joint there and that's basically how I uh, how I do my short lengths just go so yeah as you can see I've got a nice sort of wire between the two points and that's how I do the short length so pre-prepare your wire and uh, yeah it should be alright so what I'll do now I'll move on to the larger longer trace and we'll show you how to do that right so we move on to the final trace of these repairs that's the longer one now I've actually done a couple of sort of preparation bits for this uh, for this trace. The best way to do it, if you've got a certain sort of pattern to uh, to follow, um, basically this is a, a piece of solder I've sort of bent into the position of the existing uh, trace that was there by following the uh, the indentation in the board. And as you can see, I've got the same pattern as what was there before. All I do, basically, I take this solder off. And I'll then straighten it out and measure it against a bit of wire and just cut, basically cut the wire to the same length as this. And then you've basically got the, the sort of a prepared wire, the exact length of this piece of solder. And you know it's going to sort of fit the, fit the gap. So basically in there all I do is strip both ends off the board, then bend it into shape and um, yeah, fit it to the board exactly like this. So this is a great method for sort of get, getting your sort of exact length of wire. And uh, yeah, this is what I like to do. So like I say, bend it into this shape, take the solder off because it's nice and flexible, straighten it up and then just prepare your wire against the length of this solder. So that's what I've done. I've prepared the length already just to sort of speed the video up. And what I do, I sort of move on to that. I lay it into place and tape it down. Then I'll sort of show you the solder and that. So I move on. Right, so as you can see, I've prepared the wire like I was just saying a minute ago, um, exactly the same shape as the solder. So it matches the pattern of the trace going from the you know where it was missing. So yeah, what I've done, I've just sort of held it down with captain tape. But yeah, if you've got any sort of electrical tape, that will probably do the job. So yeah, I've literally paired the wire, stripped both ends to the right length. Basically, I matched it up against that sort of straightened piece of solder to get this exact shape. So yeah, basically all we do now, just got to solder it up, and uh, yeah, and that's it really. So I'll just add a little bit of solder to each pin. And, uh, or to each end of the wire and uh, yeah that'd be it so a bit to that one just add a little bit more to this one just take a little bit off that one that's it basically so I've got two nice joints as you can see I'll just zoom in slightly so you can sort of get a better view of the uh, the joints so yeah I've got a nice sort of one at the top there nicely joined up here and yeah down the bottom got a nicely joined sort of a yeah one down there so there you go so I've got two nice joints either end of the sort of new sort of wire forming the missing trace and basically that's a, exactly how I get the sort of nice pattern that was missing there originally so yeah so any length like I say sort of do it that method and you should be all right so what I'm going to do now I'm going to basically clean all this up and then I'll sort of show you quickly how I sort of bond them down I use a glue called Tack Pack. It's a proper electrical sort of glue for PCBs. But yeah, there's a few different glues you can use. But um, yeah, I'll show you. Finally, come on to the last stage. This is where I'm going to put a few sort of selective spots of glue just over the wire in certain places. And uh, yeah, I've already put an applicator on the board. This is a two-part glue I've got. It's basically, yeah, it's pretty simple. Just put an applicator. I actually just apply it sort of a little piece of solder and just dob it over the top and. That should set. I'm just going to put go along it and put a few, yeah, three or four spots along it. Don't need too many. Just in certain places. So if I just put one sort of across there, that would do both of them wires. So you don't need too much of this. The wires are fairly solid, as long as they don't get knocked. This just gives it an added sort of benefit. So you can, there's a fair few wires you can use for these... Uh, Sticking your wires down, so it depends what one you get, is sort of how you apply it. But say, I like to just sort of put it on with a little piece of solder, you can get a nice, um, yeah, nice sort of little spot over the over the wire. It's quite a good method, you don't get too much on that way. So, you don't want loads on, just put one more, yeah, I'll just put one more across the short, sort of short wire there. So, yeah, I think I've got probably enough on there don't need too much so what I do just got to wait for that to set shouldn't take too long so I've got yeah it's about three or four sort of spots around around the sort of certain areas of the wires so I'm going to let them set and then uh, yeah basically I'll sort of take a few photos and uh, yeah and sort of show you the end results so 
hopefully yeah you've enjoyed the video hopefully you've learned something and uh yeah it's been of use to you so anyway thanks a lot for tuning in hopefully yeah like i say you've learned something and uh, i'll see you again soon with sort of more soldering tutorials so until then thanks a lot and uh, yeah good luck with all your projects